We extend our deepest sympathy and unwavering solidarity to the government and people of Lebanon who are enduring relentless acts of aggression and war crimes, the most notorious terrorist regime in the world. The Islamic Republic of Iran stands firmly with Lebanon, fully committed to supporting its government, people, and resistance. We strongly condemn the continued complicity of the United States and certain Western states in Israel's systematic war crimes and genocidal war against the people of Palestine and Lebanon through the provision of advanced weaponry. Madam President, after over a year of Israel genocidal war in Gaza, where more than 200,000 people have been killed, injured, or left, buried under the rubble, this terrorist regime has now waged the genocidal war against Lebanon, echoing its brutal campaign against the Palestinian people in Gaza. The deliberate targeting of civilians and the destruction of civilian infrastructure is far more than a violation of international law. It is a flagrant war crime and a crime against humanity and genocide. It has destroyed vital infrastructure, slaughtered innocent civilians, and driven Lebanon further into an escalating humanitarian catastrophe. Madam President, the people of Lebanon are victims of a systematic campaign of terror and violence premediated by Israel to cripple the nation, erode its sovereignty, and inflict lasting suffering on its people. Israel is now a serious threat to international peace and security. Its ongoing aggressive acts of terror and atrocities now threaten to plunge the entire region into all-out war. The Security Council, entrusted with the responsibility of maintaining international peace and security, cannot afford to turn a blind eye to these atrocities. This Council has a moral and legal obligation to intervene. It should not allow Israeli war crime to go unchecked under the guise of self-defense or security. A justification repeatedly pushed by the representative of the United States and United Kingdom in this chamber. The unchecked impunity with which Israel continues to violate international law is a stain on our collective conscience. Madam President, with unwavering backing from the United States under the so-called ironclad support, officials of the Israeli regime are emboldened. Their heinous crimes are not only excused, but actively rewarded, and their atrocities are shamelessly normalized before the world. They are counting on the United States' support in their further sinister campaign of terror and destruction. Madam President, despite the Lebanese government, including Hezbollah, agreeing to a joint 21-day temporary ceasefire proposal, Israel presently rejected it by launching a large-scale aggression on Lebanon, cruelly targeting innocent civilians. To, to sabotage any chance of a ceasefire, the regime assassinated Said Hassan Nasrullah, the Secretary General of Hezbollah, a prominent figure in the Islamic world and a critical factor for peace and stability in Lebanon. He was the best remaining hope for advancing the ceasefire process. This cowardly assassination serve as a grim reminder of Israel's earlier abhorrent act of terror nation of Mr. Ismail Haniyeh, political leader of Hamas in Tehran. That assassinated, assassination shattered only any hope of ceasefire for Gaza. This heinous act exposed Israel's true intention that this regime has no interest in peace or a ceasefire. Its real objective is only to provoke a full-scale war across the region. Mm. Madam President, distinguished member of the Council, Lebanon stands on the brink of humanitarian collapse, and the international community must not allow this catastrophe to worsen. It is imperative that humanitarian aid flows unimpeded to the Lebanon. The international community must provide immediate financial and logistic support to ensure the essential supplies reach to the affected population. The very credibility of the 
Council is at a stake. We demand immediate action. We call for an immediate ceasefire. The ceasefire is not a request, but a necessity. Further, we urge the Council to hold accountable Israel for committing such genocidal war and atrocities against the people of Lebanon and Palestine. This Council must send an unequivocal message. The ongoing Israeli occupation and aggression must end. Israel must fully implement Resolution 1701. A just resolution to the crisis requires the recognition of Lebanon's sovereignty and independence, the end of Israel's illegal occupation and aggression, and respect for international law and the UN Charter. Thank you. Je remercie le représentant de l'Iran.